What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Cerulean? What's up, whatever you're watching me from, bro? Bro, it's November and it's my month. You get it? And I'm happy because it's my month, bro. And this, the start of November to 27, bro, I celebrate this as my birthday. Okay, 27th is my birthday, so you guys should know that. So we are still on Cow to Narrow stuff. You get it? We are still on Cow to Narrow stuff. And I'm Cooper Pizwa. If you guys don't know who Pepe is, this is one of the artist from Sierra Leone that is doing well in the US okay so you guys need to check some of his new projects out you get it but I need to address something real quick and well let me say this this is my own opinion and he has said his own opinion what I'm about to say is my own opinion too I'm not saying anybody should work with it you get it now this is what Papez was said okay about the Slado the decision they made and from there, I will give my own take on that. Now, let's listen to him. Hello. I go by the name of Uncle Papezwa, and I just want to react to this issue between the DJ's Union and Caldinero. Let's be clear about one thing. Salonga democracy. And one of the benefits of democracy and freedom of speech. Okay, Cal says something where the union are happy about. But for say, banning song, that's not the right call. You know? Let's disagree to agree. So now the tribe will say any artist will say something where the union are okay with for banning song not a solution. How about engaging a conversation or find ways for how we work on with issues? The industry already get problem. The songs they not even play. Foreign songs they don't take over our industry. And then when the band with the artist stand back and play foreign songs, there is a better way to do this. Banning Karen's song, that's not the answer. When I talk about it. Okay. Now, let's agree on a more fact, which is that there are lapses with the DJs, okay? DJ Union, they know that there are lapses heavily. There are lapses, okay? And which I believe one of the reasons why they called up a particular meeting was to sit down with the artists themselves and the DJs to make sure to see how they can promote salon music, which I believe Cardinero is an ambassador, okay, for the entertainment industry. Now, you're saying they need to sit down and talk about it. Cardinero as a leader, okay, he knew already one of the lapses of the DJs. Which, in my own opinion, I believe that particular day when they held the meeting was the best time for Cardinal to voice out some of those lapses that he's thinking it's, they, they are into political thing. You get it. Which is one of the reasons. And I don't know why it felt like him not going there to say it in front of those people so at least they can recognize and rectify their, their, their wrongs they are doing. But I'm taking it to the next level, going to radio station and sit there and say his own mind publicly as a leader, which will also hinder that particular institution is the right reason or is the right way to do it. Let me be realistic here, Bob. We got the fact that some of DJs, they have lapses. That's 100% fact. But if the people call up the meeting to make sure they rectify some of those mistakes and Cardinal intentionally didn't go there based on his own reasons, thinking they are politically attached or where the hell the meeting was close to APC office. Well, does that even make sense as a leader if you want to address something? It doesn't make sense. You get it. That, I believe it's the best time for him to go there like, okay, bro, in my own opinion, I feel like the way we can able to address issues like this or to build the industry is to ask for us to like get out of this political thing, which is the best way to solve it, okay? But now he has gone to the radio station and make sure he set his own mind there. And at the same time, bro, that is an institution. Cardinal will not be an ambassador till the world ends. And junior artists are listening to Cardinal. Cardinal has people at the back of him that are coming up in his record label. And whatever Cardinal is saying publicly, that's what other people believe in. They will not try to make their own research. So as a leader, you need to make sure you know what you're saying, even if you're lying. 
Don't say it publicly because people will take it for granted. I believe you're supposed to tell Kyrie no that he's supposed to do that before, not after he had made the statement. And Slender Day gave him 48 hours to retract the statement. 48 hours, which I believe any legal institution would do when they make a false statement about them. They'll definitely release a press release to make sure the person corrects him or self. You get, and that's what they did as an institution that is organized. They gave him 48, uh, 48 hours to retract or bring a proof, and he did it. And they have policies. So what do you want them to do? So still call on Cardinal, okay, Cardinal, you, you shouldn't have gone and said that, so come and sit here, and let's see how... It doesn't work that way, bro. If the president made a mistake on live radio station or TV station, bro, they have a whole lot of people that will come at him. Because they don't need to call him. To see them, Cardinal has the power already to call those people and see them and voice out the opinion. So the Slater needs to work on their own institution or their own constitution that governs them. That when you come against our policy, we need to react. So if their banning song is based on what Cardinal said on the media, now you're talking about democracy, demo, the democratic people or democratic country or democracy that we have in the country. You get now if you're thinking about that aspect, bro. Then nobody will be in jail. Nobody will be in prison for nuisance, for false information. Nobody will be there. You get it. Sometimes we need to sit down and tell these people the truth that they have lapses. And Cardinal as a leader needs to know better that there are some things that you don't have to come and say on social media that you have seen that it's a lapses within the territory that you are governing. It's also a disgrace to you. Imagine uh, uh, the president go to uh, a CNN and say uh, 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 something like that will, in, uh, that, that will hinder the, the progress of the country itself. Do you think that will bring a good name to him? No. Because he is leading those people. He is leading the country. So anything he will say against this country, it might be a disadvantage to him. So Cardinal should have thought about that before even saying those words. But it wasn't a big deal. They gave him 48, uh, 48 hours. This is the same thing that he did to the comedians. But later he came up and like clarified things. So what was the big deal there? What was the big deal for him to say, okay, bro, I didn't mean what you guys are saying now, but I believe that, okay, in my own opinion, that was it. But I'm sorry and all that. Then finish. I just feel like maybe it's pride because President Coroma left. So it felt like, Revenge in that kind of way should have been the best idea, which I feel is not the best idea. Some of us will need to know where our right stops before we start thinking about uh, it's, it's my democratic right. Because know that they can join you if you don't know your limits to that. You have rights, yes, you have wrong and right, and at the same time. So sometimes you think that, okay, it's my right to say this, but at the same time, it's not your right. I vividly remember in Ghana here, this this past few weeks. Okay, this medical guy showed up a, a a a gun on social media. Just show a gun on social media, like long time since 2019, and that particular post showed up 2021, and he got arrested for that. I believe it's in Sierra Leone. How the slow-minded that doesn't know the law would be like, ah, is he is this right? You get people as people need to know the limits of their rights. Cardinal has the right to go and say, "Bro, this is my institution, and as for now, I'm a, I'm a leader of this particular institution. So what I'm seeing is this is this, and I'm seeing some lapses, some lapses here. But if you're like he's his own boss, nobody should control him. So anything that he says should be the knife court without rectifying it. So when people don't take full responsibility of what they said, they need to sue them for that. I don't have even preferred them going to, to, to court and sue them so you pay big so you pay big money for that. But the banning tool is, is even necessary. So next time you learn what to say and rectify his own thing that he's doing. We need to respect the DJs too. Even though they have lapses, you can correct lapses by lapses. If Cardinal have made his own lapses as a as a as a leader, they will see it more than a slave do. Which is for fact. You get it. So I believe some of you artists need to talk to him first 
before attacking the slave you because they have lapses already. You get it. So that's all I have to say. Peace out.